The EDP-445 drama is the gift that keeps on giving. This guy just refuses to go away, even after getting exposed for wanting to have sex with someone who he thought was a 13-year-old girl. Most people, after getting exposed for something as serious as that, would probably never show their faces on the internet ever again, but EDP just continues to fester. He continues to try to recapture that glory he once had. And now he has set up a GoFundMe to be able to go to the Super Bowl this year because the Eagles are playing at the Super Bowl and quite possibly the only thing that rivals his love for underage girls is his love for the Eagles. I'm now going to read the description he provided in his GoFundMe. What's cracking, motherfucker? It's your boy, EDP445. These past five months of my life have been a complete nightmare. I'm sure by now many of you have heard that I've been diagnosed with a life-threatening disease, stage 5 kidney disease slash kidney failure. Talk about a devastating blow and a major turn of events for the worst. Ha ha, get fucked. If you think that's insensitive of me to say, I do not care in the least bit. This guy is a threat to children. It has been exposed that he still tries to groom underage girls. So why should I be sad that someone like this possibly doesn't have that much longer to live? Him dying would mean there's one less threat to children on the internet. And again, if you think I'm being insensitive, eat shit. Anyway. Thankfully, I've been blessed with loving and caring friends and family who have been making sure that I keep a positive attitude through this all. But through all the bullshit, there has been only one thing that has kept me happy and sane throughout these hellacious past few months, and that has been the Philadelphia Eagles. I know I bash them, but hey, it's called reverse psychology for a reason, lol. Okay? Watching them dominate this season has been a work of art and at times has truly brought tears to my eyes. As many of you know, they defeated the 49ers and have punched their ticket to Super Bowl 57 in Arizona versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I personally can't stand Andy Reid's barbecue rib eating ass. The guy single-handedly teased us fans for 13 years, making my childhood hell. It sounds like Andy Reid has been teasing you for as long as your preferred taste in girls have been alive. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. If my loyal and faithful followers can help me get to Super Bowl 57 and fulfill my dream of taking down Andy Reid and that wannabe golden boy Patrick Mahomes, you'd be truly making a wish of mine come true. His GoFundMe has been up for four days now and its goal is $6,000 and he has only raised 747 of that 6,000. Only 42 people have donated to this GoFundMe and it seems like he's probably not going to reach his goal in time. And wow, what a fucking drop-off. If he still had his YouTube channel and, you know, wasn't a pedophilic piece of shit, he probably would have reached this goal within like a day. Maybe it's time you finally take the hint that nobody wants to see you around anymore because you're a disgusting piece of shit. You trying to tug at people's heartstrings by saying, I want to go to the Super Bowl this year because it will be a very special one for me. Because one, it may very well be my last, and two, my team will be in it. So please, help me get to the Super Bowl, please. But unfortunately, EDP, it's not fucking working. No one in their right fucking mind is going to feel sorry for a child predator, even one that is currently facing a life-threatening disease. Because people know that if you're able to pull through, you're just going to continue to chase after more underage girls, because you refuse to learn your lesson. If stage 5 kidney disease isn't enough to humble you, then nothing will. Absolutely nothing will. And that's why I don't feel sorry for EDP 445 in the least fucking bit. To all of the 42 people who donated to this GoFundMe, I have to ask, do any of you have anything that resembles a brain in your fucking heads? You're giving your money to someone who would have willingly had sex with someone who was 13 years old had it not been a decoy from a predator catching group. I know there are people out there saying, well I want to see him go to the Super Bowl because he is undoubtedly going to get noticed by the other Eagle fans there because he has such a distinct look because he is so huge and not only that, he was quite literally the most popular Eagles fan on the internet, I'm pretty sure. So factoring all that in, someone will probably notice him and he'll get his ass kicked. And yeah, sure, that would make for some funny content if that were to be recorded, and I wouldn't feel sorry for him in the least bit, but ironic support for a child predator is still supporting a child predator. You are still throwing your money at someone who is a terrible human being and doesn't deserve your money in the least bit. And to any of the, like, three fans he has left who genuinely feel bad for him and may have donated to this GoFundMe, 
you do realize he's already been to the Super Bowl, right? He went to the last Super Bowl game the Eagles were at. He already witnessed the Eagles win the Super Bowl with his very own eyes like five or six years ago. What was it, 2017 when the Eagles last went to the Super Bowl? So his dream already came true. I think he just wants to see how gullible his fans are so he can siphon money out of them. And there are definitely people out there who are gullible enough to throw money his way. This GoFundMe more than proves that, but fortunately it looks like he's not going to get nearly as much as he's asking for. Shit like this just gives GoFundMe a bad name. Instead of asking for money to help pay off medical expenses, he's like, yeah, sure, I'm a child predator, but throw money my way to help me go to a football game. It's absolutely fucking pathetic, and the kidney disease can't get you soon enough. Karma in action, folks. That's all I have to say. Bye-bye. Bye.